Hey everyone and welcome to another Marks and Crafts figurine review. Today I'm going to be looking at the Megami Kato Corful figure, I believe heroine outfit version. I don't know if it's got a specific name, um, heroine outfit version and open eyes because apparently there's a closed eyed version as well. But basically this is the Corful line, uh, similar to the quintessential quintuplets Ichika that I looked at. This is a prize figure line by Taito. These are just crane game prizes completely manufactured by machine, painted by machine everything like that um, so you expect paint errors and all sorts of things not like the pop-up parades or proper scales um, where if you see paint errors it is a massive issue um, whereas if you see paint errors on this sort of just comes with the territory uh, and Megami Kato is from How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend also known as Saikano um, very good series uh, is another harem series uh, like I've mentioned before it's my guilty pleasure sort of uh, genre uh, it's just you can switch off and enjoy it but this one actually has a really solid story really funny nice parody of the genre has uh, really good characters really strong characters great art uh, absolutely amazing i haven't seen the movie that wraps up everything yet but the first two seasons were great really like it i uh, really like the story really like the characters and this is the main heroine megami kato uh, so let's stop talking about it and let's open it up Basically, the peg seems like it might be just a little bit too thick for the hole. Uh, so I might just do a little bit of Gundam hobby making and shave the hole down just a tiny bit with a blade. Um, be very careful if you do something like this. Uh, if you want to widen the hole without issue, uh, you can just get a hairdryer. Uh, and put it uh, on the, like, blow warm air into the hole for like 30 seconds to a minute or so and it should start loosening up uh, and then you can just plug it right on. Uh, I didn't want to do that so I think I can just do this. It should slide on just a little bit better. Yep. It's not flush to it, but uh, close enough. Let's see, it's still peeking out just a little bit, but uh, it is very secure on it, so I'm perfectly happy with that. But let's have a look at the nice Megami Katsu figure now. Yeah, right out of the box, looking very good. Um, I don't think it's actually shaded but the folds in the dress give the illusion that it's a two-tone uh, white dress where it's like a lighter shade of white and uh, probably more an off-white um, but no it looks like it's all painted in one color and just the folds of the dress are doing the rest um, small paint errors and things like that but on as far as the white on front is concerned really looking good I'm really happy with that um, the shoes, I don't know if they'll appear that good, um, but they are a pearlescent sort of glossy pink and that looks very nice. Pretty good colour separation, uh, pretty nicely detailed, there's a small paint error there but that's perfectly fine. Um, you can see inside her dress there's some marks and things like that, but if you're not seeing that directly, perfectly fine. The texturing on her jacket is quite nice. It's got sort of like this cross stitching thing going on and feels like it too. I'm quite interested in how they pulled that off. Uh, it's a nice little matte finish, whereas the dress seems like it's just molded in that color pretty much. Uh, but it's most likely molded in gray and painted, but it doesn't have any like texturing to change it, whereas like the shoes were changed. Um, the skin is mostly matte. Sometimes there's just little bits of gloss. Uh, which is the custom for um, price figures, kind of, kind of just happens. Uh, Rubbery-ish bow, looks nice, nice detail on her hands. She even has little painted fingernails. The hair is two tones coloured, um, where it sort of like goes into a bit of transparent 
uh, brownish black. Uh, it's almost purple in a sense, like it's hard to describe this color that I'm seeing, but it's nice, which means the, the hair must have been all molded in clear plastic and then painted over. Um, and that's quite a nice touch for a prize figure. Uh, her face looks quite good. Nothing really to complain about. Uh, if you think she looks quite basic and things like that, don't worry, that's kind of the normal thing for this series. If you watched it or read it, you'd know. Um, but it's a pretty accurate representation of the character, no real complaints. It's um, Psychono is one of those things where it's more the outfit of the character and the pose of the character that matters um, rather than the um, sort of face because in Megami, uh, in Megami's case, uh, she is meant to be the boring girlfriend. Um, so she's meant to look quite basic, but it's what you do with her that makes her interesting. And this one is quite nice. Very happy with how that turned out. Quite like the base, which is like a sort of sakura petalish type design. It's nice and clear, it does mark easily, um, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, nice detail, cool design. No major paint issues. The paint on the top of the hat is very uh, marked up. So it wasn't just a clean coat. Um, but yeah, from the viewing angle that you'll be seeing it at, there's nothing really apparently wrong with it. Um, so that's quite good. Uh, as you saw where I had to shave down the base just a bit to fit her in, that sort of stuff is standard with prize figures, unfortunately. Like, um, there's always something to be done with it. Um, they're never really perfect out of the box, uh, unless you are paying more of a premium for the prize figure um, at retail, because Sometimes there are more special ones, like usually the Ichiban Kuji prizes are of a much higher quality, but again, they are prize figures and they do tend to have issues as well. It's just a lot less common, uh, but generally very good. I'm very happy with this. Uh, another Corful figure, so colorful figure, I think that's what it stands for or something like that, uh, or figure that is colorful, something strange like that. It's, uh, I can't understand Japanese, um, or I can't understand enough Japanese to be able to tell me. Uh, what it is but yes it is a nice figure i enjoy it i enjoyed uh this one quite a bit and i really like the series and i'm glad to have um something in the collection uh that is psychono related because i have nothing um but yeah really happy i'm looking forward to other corful figures now because out of the two that i've looked at they're fairly consistent um so yeah really enjoyed that uh, and i hope you enjoyed that video too uh, and uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, please let me know in the comments because I am keen to do more things like this or how to change my sort of approach to them and things like that. I've got my ears open.